Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's product design. Uh, this clip is about composites and smart materials and it is for AS and A2 exams. Firstly, composite materials are different class of resistant materials. The word, uh, the word composite comes from the word composed which means made up from. So generally made up from different two or more different types of materials. And an example here of a composite material is this Koenigsegg, which is made from carbon fibre, has a carbon fibre composite body. Composite materials are often uh, classed as modern materials and they generally have outstanding characteristics such as high strength in comparison to their weight. And here we see a honeycomb section from a um, BMW i3 and this allows the vehicle to have both high strength and very low weight. This is typical of composite materials. The first composite material we're going to look at is a glass reinforced plastic, GRP. And these composites are in a class known as the fibre reinforced polymers, FRPs. So FRPs are fibre reinforced polymers. Plywood composites. Uh, we, we include plywood in composite materials because it is the original composite material. Um, especially when glued, it's been used for aeroplanes when glued into a sandwich of plywood and softer balsa wood and that was really one of the first composite materials. Okay so let's look at GRP. GRP is a polyester resin which is a thermosetting plastic and that is mixed with a um, with stranded glass which is the dry component um, and this is available in various forms woven or non-woven mats. So they are the two parts of the composite material which makes GRP. Um, stages in the GRP layup. The fiberglass mat is layered up sometimes over a waxed mould or former. The liquid polyester resin is mixed with a hardener and then the polyester resin is applied with a brush or roller to the fiberglass mat and this soaks in. Sometimes additional layers are made and sometimes a gel coat is applied on the top. But these, this is the basic three stages in GRP layup. Glass reinforced plastic is lightweight. It is extremely strong and robust material. Um, its strength properties are a little bit or somewhat lower than carbon fiber. But the raw materials are less expensive and its strength and weight properties are very favorable with um, metals and it can easily be used um, form using moulding process to make objects like this small boat. Although it is used for mass produ uh, produced products it is quite labour intensive and for larger scale mass production the mix can be applied and we can see here that the, we've got the GRP and the, the actual mat and the resin, the glass and the resin are being mixed together in a spray and applied by spray for uh, higher volume production. Carbon fibre Carbon fibre is produced basically in a similar way to GRP, but it has huge advantage over GRP. It is many times stronger and lighter. Carbon fibre was developed by the UK aero industry in the 1960s. Um, it basically consists of very, very fine, and we can see here very fine carbon filament and an epoxy type resin. Often it has to be cured um, or, or baked in an oven, so there's an di additional process from GRP manufacturing. Uh, applications of carbon fibre. Carbon fibre composites are used in Formula One. Here is a McLaren body tub made from carbon fibre. This enables the car to be lighter, so accelerate faster, and also be stronger, so it will be safer in a crash. So they are re uh, an application there of GRP. Kevlar. Kevlar is a similar material to carbon fibre. The strands are immensely strong and very, very resistant to cutting and tearing. If Kevlar is woven into fabrics, it can stop knives or even bullets. Applications of Kevlar are, here's an application here, which is um, tyres. It has a high tensile strength, roughly five times that of steel. So it allows products such as tyres to be made, which are stronger and also lighter, obviously lighter than steel. So they can use, vehicles can use less fuel. Cermets. A cermet is a composite material which is composed of a ceramic, sur and metallic metals so that's cermet. Um, a cermet is ideally designed to have the optimal properties of both ceramic which is high temperature resistance and hardness of those of metal which is un the ability to undergo deformation so you've got two very good characteristics there. It is um, 
generally used for things like tools. Tungsten carbide. This is a CERMA and it's a chemical compound containing equal parts tungsten and carbon atoms. Its most basic form, um, it's a powder but it can be pressed and formed into things like tools, uh, armor piercing bullets and even jewelry. Tungsten carbide tutting, cutting tools are very abrasion resistant and can withstand higher temperatures than standard tools. These tools are often used for cutting through very hard materials such as carbon steel or stainless steel. That is tungsten carbide. Metal matrix composites. These are increasingly found in the automotive industry. Um, materials such as metal, such as aluminium, um, are reinforced with silicon carbide to make items such as this um, MMC brake disc. Combining the aluminium with silicon carbon carbide produces a lightweight but very hard wearing material. Concrete. Concrete is easy to make from cheap and readily available ingredients. It will pour into moulds and make into all kinds of shapes. This is a very widely used composite material. The ingredients are cement powder, aggregate, broken, which are bro basically broken rocks and water are mixed together and they begin to harden by chemical reaction. By adding steel reinforcing bars to concrete, you create reinforced concrete. This is much stronger in shear here than just plain concrete. So by adding steel to concrete, you have reinforced concrete, which is a very strong composite material, very widely used in building. Smart materials. Why smart materials? Smart materials are materials that have a reactive capability. This means that their physical properties change when they are inf influenced by something else. Shape memory alloys. These materials have the ability to memorize a shape and return to that shape after deformation. Shape memory alloys are available in wires and sheet. Memofex glasses have a capability. So this is an, an application of uh, shape memory alloys to return to their original shape after they have been bent. Another application here is used by Chevrolet and they use an actuator to automatically open a vent at the back of the Corvette um, with changes in temperature and this means it has very few moving parts. It doesn't need to be operated by an electric motor or a sensor. It's just operated by a spring as shown in the diagram. Thermochromic pigments. These pigments are sensitive to temperature. They change colour when they are heated up or cooled down. This property is useful for indicating if a drink in a cup is hot or if the water in a kettle is hot. They are also used uh, for things like children's feeding spoons um, so that if the food is too hot it will indicate it. So that is thermochromic pigments. Polymorph. This comes in the form of small white granules as the ability to be reshaped at temperatures as low as 60 degrees. Polymorph can be reshaped by pouring on boiling water. It can be used to make ergonomic prototypes. So here it's been a, a, a little a handle for a spoon has been made using polymorph. Nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is the science of manipulating matter at the nanoscale, which is down to one one hundred thousandths the width of a human hair to create new and unique materials and products. So we can see here the head of a pin is one millimeter and that is a um, hundred thousand or a million nanometers um, and it goes down to carbon nanotubes which is just two nanometers. Carbon nanotubes have been used with polymers to make a new generation of lighter and stronger carbon fiber materials. Yamaha use nanotechnology to produce a shell for their jet skis. This is 100 times stronger than steel, but six times lighter. So this is an application of nanotechnology. Quantum tunneling composite. Quantum tunneling composite is very simply a metal filled polymer which has the ability to turn from an insulator to a conductor by applying pressure. The name quantum tunneling describes how the electrons actually flow through the material. So basically it's just a small block of material which when pressure is applied to it, it goes from an insulator to a conductor. That is quantum tunneling composite. 
Applications for quantum tunneling composite include wearable and washable electronic products and new types of switches. So that is quantum tunneling composite. Well, thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's product design and good luck in the exam.